found a Dodger jersey uh, from a player who's not there no more, uh, Turner. But, you know, still good to find the jersey. Let me see. Hold on. Let me set this up right. We're talking about the Jalen Hurts jersey for the retail arbitrage stuff. Finding the Jalen Hurts Super Bowl jersey uh, that I left. Found like three of them. I left them because I just I gave you guys my reason for them. And I came across, um, for those of you guys in Discord saw it, but I came across this today, which was the opposing player, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I found the Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl jersey on the field triple double x and a triple x 39 dollars. the pet the question is posed do you buy this one because he won a super bowl and he is the future of the league you know makes a lot more sense to grab his jersey um maybe over the hurts because one won even though they're both the future of the league but i passed on this jersey also I don't know, man. You know, I, I mentioned in my Bobby Thrift title, being picky, staying picky. I, I'm doing it, bro. Like, both of those jerseys, probably last year, I would have grabbed them both. Last year this time, I would have grabbed them both, you know. And they might be a good to, good thing to grab and hold, like I said. But I don't have the really patience to grab too many more things and hold them. Double X, triple X, is that a size that I will sell right away? Um, I seen people on there with the comps of like only uh, 50 to 60 bucks. Recent comps of 50 to 60 bucks. You buy it for 39, 49 out the door. You know, you could hold it longer, wait till season, maybe get more for it, which probably is the case. That's probably the move to make. But if I don't feel the confidence for it or that itch, there's some things I'll, I'll go through my video. There could be two different items with the same type of results and one I'll say yeah and the other one I'll say no to. It's about the gut feeling and what I know from what I, my history in a sense is, you know. I don't know how to tell you that. That's just what it is. Sometimes I feel like something could happen and then I'll do some research on it. And by the end of my trip in the video, I might not think I want it no more. Um, or I might have a second thought about it, you know. Sometimes things look really good in the moment, but once you sit back and do more research, like, Oh shit, 10 of these sold, but then you see they were like a few months apart, which means I might have to wait a month or two before it sells, which I have room, but I'm tired of it. I'm trying to see more space. I'm trying to see, you know what I mean? I'm tired of seeing shit in Vapor Max, uh, shit in plastic bags just waiting to be sold. This is a great item right here. This is a great item right here to get for the low, but I'm tired of seeing it. Can, can we get it to sell already? Like. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of doing that. But Patrick Mahomes is the guy. Probably would have made sense. But like I said, bro, I just wasn't trying to do it. And another thing that made me not do it. Them lines are getting ridiculous right now. I think I got a glimpse of it today. But the lines be wrapped. I mean, they do fairly go pretty cool. But sometimes when you're like searching for a bunch of shit, if it's not a banger, it's not worth it for me. And I got there a little later, too. I got there like around 11-ish, 11.30-ish. They open at 8, 8.30. And then by the time I start looking for stuff, when I find something that's like iffy, kind of like, okay, this might be good. I see that line. It's discouraging. I'll leave the shit if it's not something that's out the water. Right now, my brain is set on Mitchell and Ness and, and like authentic jerseys. So like if it's not that, I won't wait in the line for it. Now, this football jersey was the jersey, and I didn't, I didn't think about that. I never thought about that. The senior discount. From what I remember, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays was truck day. Yeah, from what I remember, Monday, Wednesday, Friday was truck day. Ah, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget. But yeah, any any morning is great. But yeah, Wednesdays would be a good day to go. Because Monday, Wednesday, Friday's truck day. That truck get there at like fucking 5, 5.30 in the morning. If you got a good staff, the pallets is broke down and everybody started. And by the time what store opens at 830, you're we're on to the second half of breaking down everything. The first half is um is getting the pallets in, breaking the pallets down, putting them on the belt and sorting them out into the areas they sort into. And then once you sort all the products into the areas they go to home, active, all this type of stuff, then you have people who process it and put the silence. Uh, the the crickets the loud sensors on them 
and then you push them out to the floor and you got to get so much done before the store opens so yeah that makes sense wednesdays wednesdays and thursdays are the best days and i understand that to be that could be the case because if wednesday's a truck day they get stuff out in the morning but they don't get it all the way out so then they got to get the stuff out throughout the day for um for thursday morning and i don't know every store could be different i don't know but just kind of speaking off experience to maybe get a little trend of it yeah there's, there's a they, they restock the shelves and stuff in the aisles some stores do it throughout the day and some stores have a cutoff time you know what i'm saying like i don't think there's too much restocking after like 6 p.m but i could be wrong about that it could be different stores moving around different ways so i'm not for certain but there's a method to the madness at every location um but there are overall protocols from like truck days and stuff like that and i would take information i would take definitely details from retrospective gear with the tuesdays and thursdays information because that seems about right for sure and i appreciate you sharing that um but i, I found you know some people in the discord have been sending and showing pictures of um you know hats some dope new era hats they've been finding and uh Ever since I seen that picture, I went looking for it and I hadn't seen any. I've been looking all over for them and I hadn't seen any myself. I'm like, why don't we get, I, like, I've been looking, I haven't seen no new era hats. But uh, there's a bunch of new era hats going around right now, really dope hats that are like um, $12.99, $9.99, $7.99, retailing for $45, $49, $54. These things are pretty dope, some of the ones I've been seeing. But the ones I found today was like, the 2022 Father's Day hat, like they had a Father's Day series with New Era. I found a St. Louis hat that looked pretty dope. I found um, the All-Star Game, 2022 All-Star Game, the official on-field like trucker fitted hats that the, Dodge, that the MLB had. I would feel it was $9.99 or $12.99, one of the two. All the comps are like 50 and above. Those are going to go up on my website. I'm going to put them up on Macari too, but those are going to go up on my website for sure. Um, cause I have been moving some hats on my site, bossghostgoodies.com. If you don't know, now you know, link is in the description. First link in the description, um, discounted things are cheap. You can find stuff there. Maybe you might want it for yourself. Some things might have a profit where you might be able to flip it yourself, to be honest with you. Some of the stuff, you know what I mean? You're definitely right about that. Cool. I'm not, I'm not bugging. That's not like that. You know what? It, it's, it's funny. Like there's, there's references I have when it comes to shoes coming out, <laughs> and things dropping i have to pause and be like hold up you got some lanes for them you don't have to strip over the shoes right same thing when it comes to releases you're like oh man is it gonna be a problem getting the shoes like you know what but yeah i'll be having these 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 episodes where I'm like oh and then i realize like, oh no it's not that and i've thought that before like when my when the homies was sending the pictures in the discord shout out to you for doing it no diss or nothing but when he showed me the pictures of the hats he got i'm like damn this is dope i need to rush to ross real quick because they're open let me go see and then the, my very next thought this was last week my very next thought was well shit, i'll be able to find hats for five dollars pretty soon so i ain't tripping and there's references like that for everything so i've been able to kind of tame my my urges sometime because there's just other ways to go about it and that was kind of part of uh what i wanted and which what i what the goal is in a sense when you're doing like sneaker youtube and retail arbitrage is to build up relationships so you don't have to haste around like everybody else does it's about having being levels to it you know what i mean that's something i, I i've observed and seen myself but then i also seen it in play in bigger in a bigger standpoint um on certain things when it comes to the homie drum floating around with him and seeing how easy it is to source things we went sourcing together a while ago like a long time ago a year or two ago and just seeing like how i was sourcing and going to the stores and finding the ones and twos or threes from going to five or six stores and then him going to a store pulling up and getting the cases because he has the connections with the people you know and i started developing that and if i ever something that i come across i have a couple places established like that it's about the connections you build to make it easier for you to do what you do whether it's me reviewing shoes or store stuff or this whole retail arbitrage stuff because you know um it's, it gets crazy out there with all these deals and you know more and more people are trying to get back into it a lot of people were scared off and ran off once Nike and stuff disappeared, a lot of people stopped reselling. But now that it's back, you got 
you got this influx again. It's pretty much like with the sneaker game, how everybody all of a sudden became a reseller because everything was reselling and everybody saw that. So everybody started jumping into it. Now everybody's falling off the sneaker resale game so much because the market for that is falling and it's not high, not a lot of profit for anything too much anymore. So now all them same them same people who just hopped on a sneaker resale game is now hopping into the retail arbitrage game. And now everybody's starting to go to the Marshalls and Rosses who never went there before, who's trying to go there for the quick flips because they're seeing it online. And now all the people that, like people here who are watching from both channels who are on both sides of sneaker collecting and sneaker reselling, you're seeing it on both sides now, like, you know? So for your reselling stores and duties, those stores are more flooded with people who were flooded at shoe palaces and JD Sports and Foot Lockers. Now all them niggas is at Ross, Marshalls and Burlington now. Like, oh, y'all wanna come here now? But y'all was all over there not even laughing at like laughing at this stuff and that's also why i say about spreading out what you're doing so when you do walk into a room full of resellers i don't have too much sweat when i do that like i might mention it in my videos on bobby thrift like oh shit, there's resellers here let me go see because that's like a natural instinct you see people hunting you want to hunt to make sure you get what you want like i said the other day i was at burlington looking at shoes and i see some people come in they start going over to the clothes and getting closer to the athletic and about to go to the shorts i stopped what i'm doing went right over to the shorts and i found those purple laker shorts that were 115. just because i was, I was like oh stop this let me go here get what i want let me look okay found it boop and walked off and they i got it before they could even see it you know certain things like that is why i would go but when it comes to walking into burlington or ross it could be midday later day and i could see people there looking like they're reselling I don't trip because I'm not just going for what everybody's going for Nike and Adidas. Maybe Puma. Nobody's really tapping into Reebok. Nobody's really even tapping into Puma, to be honest with you. I'm probably saying Puma because I do too. I tap into Puma a lot. But like, if I can't get the things I would want for Nike because everybody's here getting stuff for Nike, I'll just go to my other brands and be fine. I can do my videos like I always do because I'm not rushing for stuff. You know what I mean? You got to diversify the portfolio, man. Uh, have you found any of the m and m no uh today i did see some form lows um and some some with some good quality but i haven't seen the m ms yet i have seen people around starting to find them uh retrospective gear have you found any of those i think you did right seen the m ms the brown pair and the red so you found the red pair okay the red one i think is the most uh like popular one best looking one yellow one is cool too i, I assume there's a green one also but yeah, that red one really pops. And you found the yellow one and the, and the red one. That's dope. And all these videos is $20,000 cash out at the at the sneaker convention. $80,000 cash out. I'm like, who's still cashing out that much on shoes? Maybe they're cashing out on shoes and everybody's under underselling their shoes like heavily. So that's why they're buying so much. You know... I want to be very optimistic about it and I, I feel optimistic about it but one thing is like wow we're in 2023 like <laughs> you know over time there's always ebbs and flows uh, excuse me for example like when we had when i used to do the throwback videos on on bosco mitchell and it would be old old videos of me hitting the stores up and like all them shoes sitting around because the resale wasn't for them wasn't high at the time resale was down and then years later, when I actually put the video out as a throwback Thursday video, the resale had went up, but those shoes had those shoes are three, four years old now. So that's why they're worth so much more. And so I know there's that time. I've seen it where I was at the store, shoes were sitting, nobody wanted them, the value wasn't there. Years later, the value skyrocketed and it's crazy. And I'm kicking myself like, damn, why do you pick up these shoes and sit on them for four years? Well, who I who in their right mind thinks about sitting on shoes for four years? I definitely didn't think about that back then. So um, to see that then, like you see the black cats were sitting, they went to 400. You've seen so many videos in my old videos. If you watch my throwback Thursday videos, when I uploaded old videos, you would see so much heat just sitting there that goes for crazy amounts. And now we're back in that time where everything is down, everything is sitting. Like I feel like I, I'm thinking both ways, like in two, three years, can I have videos again saying this time when everything was sitting in the stores for so long 
and now the, the price for these shoes three years down the line are going to be skyrocketing like are we going to reach that point again one part makes me feel like yeah there's peaks and valleys always but then one part really makes me think that we're never going back to that and i'm not trying to be weird but it's like for a few reasons like i don't even want to say it but like is the world going to end or is crypto going to take over stuff and like that stuff don't matter now like is this stuff still going to be valuable goods like me you know i keep the Kyrie's because i like it for my collection but anything that i kept to try to resell is it worth doing that in a year or two or three from now like do we know that is it worth still sourcing well sourcing now in the meantime trying to make money now yeah but no long holds nothing you should buy right now at least in my opinion you shouldn't buy nothing with the expecting expectancy of holding for two three years in this climate because i feel like like what will have to happen to make it shoot back up to where everybody got money again and inflation goes down like it seems like we're only going down 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 like there's no light it don't seem like there's no light at the end of the tunnel but i could be wrong and i'm an optimistic person so i i always feel like shit's gonna bounce back i always feel that way but it's crazy right now right now the hold is exactly way too long so it's like the person who has the super amount of capital to have a big ass storage unit and just go put shoes in there and just leave them in there for years don't think no natural disaster is gonna happen think money will stay the same like all this type of stuff bro <laughs> that goes through your mind is like when it comes to the consuming and reselling and everything you know we in la we have these earthquakes all the time knock on wood it's like who's to say a big one don't happen and destroys the place where your stuff is sell held and then what is it best to just get rid of everything now so you ain't got nothing to hold on to for if you got a maneuver you can just maneuver without worry about your losses like it's it's a it's a crazy thing to even think about Hector, you're definitely right about that. That's super fact. Holding needs a uh, space and upkeep. I mean, I've been holding. I've been having space. I want to see that space back to a normal space, not just space with inventory. I've been able to put them in tubs and in closets and stuff, but just knowing it's all there is so annoying. But like, I the first step is obviously getting everything posted. And for the most part, a lot of things are posted. Not everything is. There's still things I find like, oh shit, this is not posted on my website or this is not posted anywhere. Let me go post some more shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that too. If you don't have the right environment, you can't hold because they'll start to mold or the, the it gets too hot. The, the the glue will start to separate and all kinds of stuff. You know. So how how long are holes now? You got people making TikToks mad they bought uh, a caseload of Thunder Fours because they're tanking. And they wanted to sell them now, but they have to hold them for some time. How long will they have to sell those? Those are Jordan 4. I mean, they probably could sell them and break even, but I assume you're buying a bulk load, a bulk load of shoes. You're not trying to break even. You're trying to make them profit. You know, I've seen videos of people having the uh, Jordan 4 Thunders mad that they bought the whole, whole, whole uh, full-size run and other shoes, you know, that just happens. Um, so it's just crazy to see that it really is it's interesting to see what times will be shout out to everybody here in the stream i appreciate that we had 25 likes or 23 likes right now yeah smart only thing you're holding right now is use these slides and phone runners those are something that are are something that people are always looking forward for year round especially you know what i mean um anybody in who does reselling whether it's retrospective gear or maybe even um Hector, I'm not sure if you're a reseller or not. Has anybody ever gotten down to zero items? And if you have, is that a scary thing or not? Like, have you been able to sell through everything you had and be like, oh shit, I need to go source because I need shit. I don't think that ever really happens. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I, it could be realistic or not, but that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get every single thing sold. <laughs> I mean, we all are. We all are. Don't. That's not like I'm saying something that's some anomaly. But I've never been down to zero products to sell and have to go source. You know what I mean? I'm really, I'm really gonna dip into my collection a little bit too. Not so much. <laughs> not so much. But there are some things that I have. I have a lot of shoes. I, I gotta bang out this collection video, and I feel like this will be the setup. I'll do it in. You know, I, I, I've been trying to think of a format of how I want to do it. I'm going to do it and I'm going to start off with all my Lucy's, my loose shoes that don't have boxes 
and then go into everything else after that for whatever else it is. And then after that, I'm going to start pushing some of this shit out of here. I mean, I like what I have behind me. Some of the things, a couple things. Excuse me. I'm going to pick off. Some, a lot of things I'm going to keep, but some of the things I'm going to pick off. You only have two feet, and I don't wear every shoe all the time. You know what I mean? It's great to have variety, but how much variety? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm so inter- in between on that. How many shoes I want to keep? How many do I want to get rid of? That's true, too. Very good. Very good point. If you're getting down to zero, you might be out the game. You might be heading out the game because, I mean, at the end of the day, you need more to continue to continue it to go. I guess more the question is like, have you ever sold out without like unexpectedly type shit, you know? Um, yeah, because if you sell to zero, then that means you're kind of, you know, nobody's going to let this stuff get to zero because they want to keep, they want to still keep making money. But I guess, I guess the equivalent or maybe a, what I'm saying, maybe for retrospective gear, like have you been to a convention and sold out completely and it's like, oh shit, I ain't got nothing else at the table. I got to go get some more stuff. But I'm sure you probably have more stuff in the storage. I'm just curious if anybody ever sold out anything. Like, not like that. Hopefully that doesn't sound crazy. But like, yeah. Like, where you had like a really great time and shit just like overwhelmingly sold. It's like, oh shit, I really don't have too much to sell now. I gotta get this shit back up there. You know? I feel like Fila is making new colorways and sending them straight to Burlington. The only other, pl- the only other place you would see these shoes is in uh, WSS. I haven't been to a WSS in a little bit, so maybe I just didn't see them when they were there. Grant Hill with the Phoenix on it. I felt like we saw that before. Uh Uh-oh. I found these slides. These slides are going around right now at Marshall's. Amazing rank. Amazing rank, amazing feedback. No pricing there. But the ranking is crazy and the feedback is crazy. They were only... $14.99 $14.99 or $15.99. So, you know, I scooped it up and I went through the rest of the stores looking for more pair. And here's the thing I was at one Ross and in Clance going through the shoe section in the slide area. I saw it, didn't think no mind of it, left it alone, went to another location a ways away. And I was coming around that aisle again by the slides, which I do glance at the slides sometimes because I find my Crocs and things there. But I didn't pay it no mind. I saw some guy. He went over there. He looked at him and then just walked off because he was there buying stuff for like his store. He looked like the guy who worked in Sporty LA. It looked like one of the guys who worked in Sporty LA was grabbing stuff to go take it to their store. I could have been wrong. He could have just looked like the bald headed guy that works in Sporty LA and it could have not been him. But it looked dead on him. And the things he was shopping for made it seem like he was going to go to the store. I don't know though. But um, he looked at the slides for a glance and then just left them alone. I looked at the slides and scanned them. I was like, oh, yeah, we're running that. We're taking it over me. <laughs> we're taking that with your boy. Um, This was, uh, these things are too small. These pictures are too small. But this was just a picture of the MLB all-star hat that I found. But even though the team I found was not listed here. <laughs> I forgot the name of the team that I found. What team is that? that has like the mitt, the mitten. Is that what it's called? The catcher's glove as the logo. What baseball team is that that has the catcher's mitt as the logo? Uh, 